Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to Magic Duels. In this episode, I am taking a look at a red artifact deck that I call Perilous Chaser. This deck comes courtesy of Sando27. He is one of the mods on our Magic Duels, uh, nice Magic Duels subreddit on Reddit. Uh, you guys should check it out. For the full deck recipe, you can go down in the description box and check it out. But for now, let's see this deck in action. Alright, we're facing off against Enzo Plate. So, let's see. Uh, well, we got two lands here. A couple of two drops. This is actually not bad. I'm going to go ahead and keep this hand. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Uh, this deck really does not need a lot of land to run. I, I would like to see a little bit more than that. Uh, it only runs uh, about 18 lands. So, we'll throw out this Foundry since we don't have a one drop right now we'll probably uh we'll throw out the uh, perilous right after that's part of why i call this perilous chaser it's named after the perilous mirror and the goblin glory chaser uh but i didn't draw one all right we'll put out this second mountain and we'll put out this mirror um uh, i did not draw into a land which i really wanted to I mean, this deck can do pretty well on on just two lands. Uh, you're a little safer with three, and even and four would be even better. Uh, our opponent hasn't done anything. There's our third land. Uh, we'll put that. And actually, uh, I think we're gonna do Call of the Moon, or do we Chief of the Foundry? Call of the Moon would do more damage. Uh, yeah. So we'll Call of the Moon on our Perilous there. And we'll attack. And if he kills that, that's fine. Reprisal that will... Uh... Actually, does that count as dying? Yeah. So we'll still get to do two damage. Um, it's okay. We still got to do damage, but he got a kind of two for one there. So not too happy about that. But that probably would have happened even if I put the Chief of the Foundry. Uh, but I wouldn't have lost two cards. So that's okay. Forced his hand there. Uh, he might be playing some kind of black red control deck. Uh, so let's see. We wanna. What do we wanna go with? We got four mana here. Uh, I think we'll just put out another perilous for now. And now this deck pretty much lives on, uh, you know, the fast attack. So if I don't, uh, you know, I, I haven't drawn into any other good creatures. So we might uh, we're not we might not be looking too good here. Yeah, he's got that. What is he gonna search for? You know, I I was hoping to join to some more creatures, and I didn't really get much other than this chief of the foundry. But uh, well, uh, let's see what he's got. Goes for a divine favor. Yeah, that'll that'll stop my perilous for sure. Uh, I could, I could exquisite firecraft it. We'll uh, put the. Let's just double check here. Yeah, we'll put the chief of the foundry, and I'll attack with my perilous. He won't block it. I'm pretty sure he won't block it because he knows, he knows if he blocks it, he loses his creature, and I'm sure he plans on putting that enchantment on his creature next turn uh, and I think uh, no actually I won't be able to kill it with this uh, you know what uh, the better thing would have been to hold on to the mana and twin bolt twin bolt it oh he gets the skirmisher ah he, w he wants to enchant that okay So actually, what I think I'm going to do, I know he wants to enchant this. I could put it on the cross. Nah, I'll put out a perilous. Okay, and then now we're going to just wait. We can't attack because he'll block with this. And well, actually, no. Uh, we can attack. We can attack because he's a two-two now. So we'll attack with that guy. And let's see what he does. 
He'll probably let it through. I don't think he wants his guys to die. Yeah, he'll take the two damage to the face. He wants to enchant these guys. Whoever he chants, I'm going to kill with the twin bolt. So we'll back off here and see what he does. I know you want to enchant it. Come on, bring it. He puts a juggernaut. Uh, wow. That's not what I expected. I was expecting the... Uh... Alright, he's going to hit me with that for two. Uh, I think... Uh, hold on. I think I want to... I'll twin bolt that now. I'll twin bolt that now. And then on my turn, I'll exquisite firecraft the other guy. So yeah, we'll twin bolt. We'll ping this guy. And one to his face. And then on our turn, we can uh, destroy that guy. Oh, we got an Ember Hauler here. But, uh, oh, we could, we, yeah, we, we're going to Exquisite Firecraft. We don't want, we don't want that Juggernaut around. And we're going to go ahead and attack with everything. We'll leave this one mana. Make them think we got something, some instant that we could play to pump up stuff. And then, uh, why are you watching damage effects? Alright, and then we'll put out this bond and construct. No reason to hold back the mana. And we'll hang back. Now we can put uh, this Aether Grid. But honestly, we're, we're wide right now. We can uh, pretty much get through anything. Well, not anything, but he's only got this one little guy here, this Pilgrim. What could be he be holding back? He's got a grave digger. He'll get the juggernaut. He can't play the juggernaut yet. And is it too late for him? Three, four, five. Yeah, he'll get the juggernaut. Um, what can I do to that juggernaut? And he quits. All right. So we'll continue playing. Uh, we'll put this. Uh, all right. I could ember. Do I have the win here? Uh, three. Well, he'll block that. So two, four, five, six. I could do six damage to him. Uh, let's see. If I attack, like I'm thinking of putting the armor hauler. So I'll put the ember hauler. I can sacrifice it, blow up one of his guys. Yep. So we'll. We'll go ahead and sacrifice this. Kill his 2-2 uh, two -two there. We attack with everything. He'll block the 3-2. He'll block the 3-2 and take 2, 4, 6 damage. We're just one short. One shy. He'll put the Juggernaut. But that's only one blocker. He needs... Well, he needs to block everything. So, regardless... Yeah. We've got this. Alright. Well, it wasn't looking too good with just the two mana to start. But then, uh, we pulled it out here. And actually, just to add insult to injury here. Instead of attacking... We can actually... <laughs> we can actually kill him with this grid here. So, we'll attack... Uh, tap... Oops. Do this the right way. We're going to use this. And we're going to deal one damage to him. And we'll tap both of our mirrors. And we'll kill him that way. Alright. One in the books. Alright. Facing against Eddie Ad Noctum. Is that what it said? <laughs> I couldn't make all of it out. This is not good. We only got one mountain there. So we're going to draw a new hand. Oh my god. This is worse. Um, that's too many. That's too many. Uh, we'll we'll join your hand and oh shit, that's bad. Um, oh, we're gonna have to keep that. Oh, that is terrible. We'll put out this foundry. 
Oh my god, I drew no mountains. I have 18 mountains and I drew none here. <sighs> of course, once I get that one mountain, I'm actually okay. So, I'd like to draw it next. So I can put this glo Goblin Glory Chaser out. I did not draw it, so we're gonna... Son of a bitch. Man, if there's one, the only thing I ever have to say bad about magic is uh, the mana screw that happens sometimes. And he gets a perilous, so. Unless I draw a mountain here. Ooh, alright, alright. Uh, what do we want to do with that, though? Um, oh, put that mountain out. Yeah, I'll put the top the engineer. Cause my my thopters will come into play with haste. Right? Is that what he gives them? Haste. Yes. And uh, so we'll uh, attack with that. If he attacks me with the perilous, I, I'm not gonna block because it'll kill my engineer, and I kind of want him out. I I have a lot of artifact creatures in this deck, so the top engineer will. Uh, make them all have haste which is nice next round actually I could put out this uh, chief of the foundry uh, we could put out another top to engineer but I don't need that to waste the chief of the foundry is pretty much the next play he's probably thinking that I'm playing a red blue uh, thopter deck all right he's gonna kill my thopter damn it damn it hmm He'll attack for one uh, let that through. Uh, we're not gonna block. All right, let's see. What are we? What are we gonna draw? What can I do here? We get a mountain. That's that's good. So we have plenty of mana to work with now. These guys give me two tokens, but because he has those guys, we're gonna put the chief of the foundry right now. That guy has, he has haste. I could actually attack with him right now. And he can't do anything about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attack. Um, we might as well attack with both. Because regardless what he blocks, yeah, we'll attack with all. Regardless what he blocks, um, yeah, he's got to block. The, well, he could just take the damage to the face. That's fine. We can trade blows all day, as long as I'm ahead. He'll block that. So that's sort of the safe play. He prevents the damage and doesn't uh, lose a creature. He's got no mana, so he can't do anything else. And then I'm going to play this Goblin Glory Chaser next. Such a great uh, one-drop right here. Uh, once you get that... Renown, uh, he has Menace, which is just really, really awesome. Um, so I think next, uh, we're probably going to play Pia and Kiran. They'll give us two 1-1 one, one, uh, Thopters, which will have Haste, and they'll have plus two. So they'll be two twos. And again, if he decides he wants to attack, uh, I'll probably just let him through. And, and then counter attack. You know this this deck. The re part of why I call it Perilous Chaser. It doesn't care if it's a, it just wants to do damage as fast as possible. And it's kind of like a berserker. Attack, attack, and uh, you know whatever. If they hit you, fine. But you got to stay ahead on the damage curve. Uh, we get a bond the crystal, but uh, I'm definitely gonna put uh, yeah these guys because they'll put uh, some thopters in play. They'll be Two twos. And we'll fly in the air. He kept the, this mirror back. Um, so we'll attack. Attack. And that'll probably be it. He's holding these guys back to try to kill my stuff. Um, but I don't have anything else. If I block. Yeah. No. That's fine. We'll just do the four damage. He's holding back his mirror. He wants 
he wants my stuff to run into us. He can do two damage uh, to something, either two damage and kill one of these two, uh, three health guys, or or kill more likely kill my thopters. But I want my thopters alive. All right, he's gonna bone splinters. That's fine. He'll kill that guy. Yeah, he needed to do that. But the damage has been done because now, now the floodgates kind of open. Which, uh, let's see here. What? How do I want to do this? What do I want to do next? I guess the other top thing. Well, I could play both of these cards. Oh my God! Another. That's that's the play. Get all these little thopters. And let's go. Attack phase. All the thopters will definitely go. Uh, I think we'll let the... No, I don't want to do the engineer. He, he, may, he may have like a titanic growth or something. So we're just going to go and go via the air. So this is the first time in testing this deck out that I'm actually <laughs> going a full Thopter offense here. This is pretty cool. Alright. He's going to need like Reach or something to take care of these guys. Now he's kind of like, he's so be far behind. I mean, he got mana screwed. So yeah, he's got, finally got a uh, mana. Does he got something big to play? I mean, what he needs to do is he needs some kind of board clear and get rid of these guys. Because if I draw into it, I have uh, three. There, yeah, I have three Chief of the Foundries. Ah, there he goes. He's got this. It's a little late though, and it can't it can't attack this round. Oh, give me some burn. Give me some burn. I did not get the burn. I have burn in this deck. Um. I think we're gonna put the well. We'll put this rogue's passage. Oh, I would so love to. I could you. I could do that actually. Uh, I could activate this rogue's passage and make this guy <laughs> get his renown. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. This is this is funny. So we're gonna use that ability. Put it on the glory chaser. And we're gonna go into our attack phase. And he'll kill one of these Thopters on his turn. Or he'll probably wait till my turn. And that's it. Confirm the attack. <laughs> so now this guy will get Renown. So now he needs two creatures to block it. And that brings him all the way down to four. Now he'll kill one of these Thopters on his turn. Or, you know, wait, this Archers will kill these. But then I have another Thopter Engineer to put another another Thopter in place. So... This should be in the bag. But I mean he may he may have some board clear. He's got black. He could have a languish. Languish would ruin my world right now. Languish would though I have these guys sort of as a backup to the languish, so. What's he got? Necromantic summons. What's he getting? A mirror? Is he gonna get a mirror and then sacrifice it? Ah, very nice. Hmm. I can I can sacrifice artifacts for. Oh man. Oh, this is not. <laughs> this is nice. Call of the Moon on the Glory Chaser. So let's see. It will stop. Uh, stop the engineer. And I think we're probably just going to attack with everything. Call of the Full Moon on the Goblin Glory Chaser. And now we're just going to attack with all. Yeah, we're going to attack with all except here. We're going to keep these guys back because we can sacrifice artifacts for damage. All right, we'll confirm the attack. 
I'm, I'm didn't bother to add everything up. I probably should have attacked with this, and that might be the win. Uh, but let's see what he does. He's got to block the flies. He'll kill one with this. He's got to at least double block against the glory chaser, or that kills him. He's, he'll probably use this guy and the uh, red one. No, you got you to gotta block the glory chaser. It kills you. He's got no mana, so he can't play anything. What is he doing? Well, we'll let him figure out that he needs to block this glory chaser or it's going to kill him. Okay. Uh, what order we want to do this? Uh, it doesn't matter. So we'll do it on, on his red one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're dead. Well, what did you have to think about? <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for him uh, while he figures out that he's dead. This is the part where you die, sir. Is he just being a jerk and just letting the timer run out because he's pissed that he lost? All right, we're facing off against Trouble Blow Blow. I don't know what his name was. So let's see, we got uh, two, three lands. Um, this is not great, but it's not terrible. So I'll keep it rather than drawing into something crazy bad. Uh, anytime I get three lands, I'm happy. Uh, we'll uh, throw out the Rogue's Passage first. That does not give him an indication of what kind of deck we're running, not really. Um, Sometimes based on what colors people play or what lands you can kind of Start getting an idea of what they're playing. So he's got like blue there, you know, he'll have some kind of controlling stuff. Maybe um, Oh, we got a Chandra We'll play a mountain here And we will put out a rune servitor Not a not a bad 2-2 two -two. when it dies we both draw cards if I can attack fast enough, uh, that won't be a problem. You know, letting him draw draw a card is, isn't too bad if we can outpace him in damage. And that's the whole goal of this deck. Uh, we'll put out another mountain here. Uh, okay, thanks for leaving. Um, Alright, well, okay, he can leave. He must have had shit. So, we're gonna, we're just gonna push... Uh, I'd like to get that scrapyard mongrel. Um, we're gonna push the attack here, so we're gonna put the stopped engineer. I'm gonna go this route with it, and we'll attack with all confirm the attack. So I'm guessing he's probably mana screwed, and that's why he left. Uh, and that being the case, I'm just gonna go go for the attack. Oh, he's got three mana. I mean, how bad could his hand be? He's got a Merkel. All right. I don't understand why he left, but he did. And uh, uh, I was hoping to draw a fourth lance that could put the Scrappy on Mongrel. Did not happen. So it looks like we're... Are we going to be going for the air? We're going to put the Stopped Engineer. And the reason I'm doing that is because now he's got this Merc Lurker, I'm going to have to go via the air. And we'll attack. I'm actually going to attack with this Rune Servitor. I'd like the card draw. I'm hoping it'll be a land. I, I should have, now in retrospect, I should have done the attack first before playing anything. Well, then I wouldn't have had the Thopter to attack with. And I didn't draw a land, so that's, that's not good. But... I can play the Chief of the Foundry next. I can play the Chief of the Foundry. Oh, he's got another one. That totally... Those guys, man, they, they totally stop most ground assaults. Um, yeah, definitely she, Chief of the Foundry right now. And we'll attack in the air. Alright. You know... Maybe he, maybe his deck is some kind of combo deck and he didn't get any of the pieces he wanted and I don't know. 
Flashback Marauder. He's gonna flashback me. Uh, I think I'll actually let go of one of these uh, engineers. Come on, give me another land. Give me another land. There we go. There we go. Now, time for the uh, mongrel. And we'll attack him. Once again, in the air. Um, we could, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to attack with these guys. They just block them. Although, although I could attack with this guy. No, but if he double blocks. Yeah, I, I saw that coming. Um, what am I going to let go with this? Um, no, you know what? I'll let go of the engineer. I'll let go of the engineer. We're going to attack for two... Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is game. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, and we and we got more mana here. So we're gonna push. Uh, let's see here. We'll attack with all these guys. He'll probably double block this, and that's fine. We'll confirm the attack. And we'll only kill one, but now we double twin bolt him. So we'll play this to the face. And another one. And there we go. That's it for Trabulo. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Zero Budget Magic Duels. Uh, be sure to go down into the description box to see the deck list for this deck. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check in the upper right hand corner to see the link to other episodes that I've done. So guys, until next time, I'll see you soon.